I arrived at Winchester. Not sure if I need a uh, if I need a spliff or if I need to throw up. We'll find out soon enough. Little Baptist church. There goes my bus. So fucking stuffy. Jesus Christ. It's a lovely tree. Ten minutes away from the Commons Fair. Never been here before, so have a little look around. Looks like we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. We've started already. Don't mind being a little late, doesn't matter. It's all good. Got the feeling I need to go in there. There she is. A nutshell. This first walk around was mostly to get the oh my god look big and shiny kind of stuff or, oh my god how cool does that look it's funny how it puts into perspective just how varied comics have become over the years one of my favorites by far was punk shark uh, just the <laughs> just the simplistic artwork and the, it's just a combo of a fun and political tone that really i guess it really tickled my belly there was an incredible range of different artists. Well, artists as well as topics, you could pretty much find a comic book about everything. From hot and horny to uh, James and Jack. Which I actually got signed. The guy was so nice and uh, turns out he's a massive fan of One Piece just like me. I really learned a lot throughout this entire experience, I must say. After that I went on a break. All right, just finished my first um, haul, I guess. Uh, got a, a lot of comics, met a lot of really nice people. Uh, one of them being Gareth Brooks, who's actually, um, I, I was told he's, he's someone important. Turns out he knows, a, he knows my tutor, a uh, friend of mine, Barbara. So, um, yeah, the, um, interesting little, uh, turn of events. I got a lot of networking opportunities as well. Uh, there's an event in Brighton going on in December that I might go to, and there's uh, there's a little what you what you would call it. Um, <laughs> um, oh yeah, like networking event that happens once a month in Brighton for comics. It's really cool. Totally gonna go and uh, become a part of that. Uh, makes me want to go and write and draw more of my comics, you know, so I can be part of this uh, grander, grander world. I'm looking forward to it. Um, right now, I'm probably gonna go sit down somewhere. I'm thinking right here, but this does look a little dodgy. Um, I was, I was gonna have a smoke and then uh, eat my lunch and then fucking get back in there and talk to some more people. Cornish pasty. From the pasty shop. 
in Brighton. When fresh. Like a solid 8 out of 10. But that might change over time, warning. Because I've not tried like pro pasties, you know. Like maybe this is a pro pasty. Or maybe there are actual ones that are like, oh, you know, fuck it. But this one, when cold, fucking, yeah, nah, mate, nah, doesn't work out. It's kind of dry, it's making me want to drink a lot of water, but I'm also, I am also thirsty, in the first place, see what I mean? We had our had a we had a nice little trip so far. And this fucking um, comic book conference, you don't have your first one every day. It just went so well. I met so many lovely people. Uh, I'm like totally in. You know, in terms of like a refurnished um, passion, refurnished passion, and oh my god, like, yeah, like I found out there's a there's another conference on on tenth of December, so we're gonna have. Probably that. I'll definitely go to one on the 10th. And, um, apparently there's a whole team of comic book people that just keep meeting up, um, like month to month. And it's based in Brighton, where I am. Adam told me this part of the um, past is not actually for eating. Apparently, people had um. Develop, develop this kind of habit, you know, of um, when in the mines they sit there and eat the well, this is back in the day. Let me just put that out there. You have this fucking um, you have these miners. Not small kids, miners, but my <laughs> Minecraft miners. Jesus Christ! And fucking uh, whenever these miners would eat their pasties because their hands were filthy from fucking mining coal. Uh, um, it had this odd little like uh, well they would they, their fingers would be dirty so they'd fucking like hold it by that part and throw that part away because that's the dirty part and you've just eaten out the whole fucking fucking thing that's why I eat these They're good, they're good. I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna drink some water. 
and we're back to the convention. This has only been the first half. Second time around, after deciding to cross my budget a little further than I should, uh, I ended up finding a lot more goodies. This includes a uh, infinite mountain generator, some really clever packaging, and of course, more stickers. I think this was the time around when I've had the longest conversations of all the times I went around. Uh, the second round was the moment where I wanted to make sure I dig deep and find the golden nuggets hidden somewhere among these tables. Although, to be fair, all of them were golden in their own way. I could honestly walk around here all day. Here are some interesting shapes. That one even looks like a rabbit and a dog. This was the best piece of art I found during the entire afternoon. Also found an entire D&D &D campaign that I ended up gifting to my friend Orson. Real cool shit. Something I wish I had the time to do. Which I'm sure I could try, you know. I've never had a game go well. Here's one from Gareth, called Home. Um, this was... I, I gifted this one to my friend Tom, who's a great artist, and oh my god, Gareth really outdid himself in this one. From the outside, it doesn't look as deep as it is on the inside, that's all I'm saying. And I got this little novelty piece uh, drawn by a little kid. Snatched a poster. Real wholesome stuff. White man. Is a collection of business cards. It makes me want to step up my business card game. Bozo Robo especially, holy fuck. That one's cool. That's the guy who did fucking... Um... <laughs> Pug Shark. <laughs> the third round was my last, so I really wanted to just grab whatever was missing, you know? And to top it all off, I've got some stickers. My laptop has been lacking for some time and it's about to pimp it up a little bit. And that's it. I'm gonna head over back to the station. Back to Brighton. I like this place. Winchester. It's not... Uh, it kind of reminds me of Horsham. It's not as colourful as Brighton. But it's still got this kind of... Uh, this kind of charm to it. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I didn't have any room behind you. <laughs> Never been on one of these. Much better than some. Still the same problem though. The corridors are too thin. I've been eating them throughout the journey. I've had two of them. <coughs> Freeze the lucky day. Bless you. There was a uh, there was a chicken one that I left in the um, in my bag overnight, and that didn't poison me. So we're we're on a good we're on a good streak here. <laughs> 